So we're going to be working on this uh, welcome quiz, and I want to add some links to the instructions. Now, instead of just having these words here, I'm going to turn some of these into links. I'm going to click on edit. Now, I happen to be in a quiz, but anywhere where you've got this rich content editor, that means assignments, pages, announcements, you can go ahead and add in these course links. Now, the first thing that I want to do is to link students to my syllabus. So I'm going to highlight where I want that link to go and I'm going to go up here to this link icon. I'm going to click on the down arrow and I'm going to choose course link. You can also do this through the insert menu, insert link and then course link. Up on the right hand side pops up a bunch of navigation options. Now my syllabus happens to be on a page, so I'm going to click on pages and I'm going to grab the one that says syllabus. And notice that when you click off of that now it's become a link. Let's do the same with the getting started module. So I'm going to click on and highlight this getting started module. This is a module obviously and I'm going to click on the getting started module underneath the modules drop down menu and I've got that changed into a module. Now you can also add a link where you don't have any words yet. So let's say that we wanted to um, take them to the introduce yourself discussion. If I click right where my cursor was, it's going to go ahead and say introduce yourself. I can click on this and I can add some more details. So I can say discussion board. Notice that I want to make sure that as I'm typing, I'm still part of that hyperlink. So I want those letters to be blue and underlined. And if I go in front of introduce, I can do click here for the introduce yourself discussion board. Okay, so if I go ahead and just arrow past that, hit enter, I no longer am in a hyperlink. Now, if you ended up with something that you didn't quite like, you can just click on your link and you end up with some link options. You can click on options to make some changes or you can remove that link. I want to undo that, so I'm going to do a control Z to undo. Okay, one more great thing. You can also link pictures and these become buttons. So I'm going to put a picture in. I already did a search for a home button. I chose one. You can right Right click or tap with two fingers on your touchpad to get copy image or save image as. I've already done that, so I've downloaded an image. I'm going to put my cursor where I want that image, and then I'm going to insert image. You can also click on the image icon, so either one. I'm going to do insert, and then I'm going to choose image, and I want to upload an image. It's still on my computer. So I'm going to click on now the rocket ship and that takes me to my files. Click on this home button and then open and you can add some alt text. They're always a good idea. But I'm going to click on submit. Now right now this home button is massive compared to everything else. So I'm going to click on it so I get these blue corners. I'm going to go ahead and click, hold and drag on those blue corners to get the size that I want. Now what I want to do is to have this button take students back to my home page. Canvas is kind of tough to navigate. So I'm going to click on this so I've got it highlighted in blue and then I want to go ahead and add a link. So I'm going to click on the down arrow next to my link icon or you can do insert course link. I want course link here and I want this to take my students back home. So I can click on course navigation and I can click on home. So whether you've got your module set up, which is the default home page, or if you have a home page set up, it's going to take your students there. Let's go ahead and click off of all of these and click on save. Before I let you go, I want to show you how to do an external URL. Take your students to another website, which is another really great tool. I'm just going to use the same welcome quiz. But again, you can be on a page, an assignment, a discussion board, wherever you've got your rich content editor. Now I want to take students to a, um, let's just arrow over so I'm not in my link and then hit enter. And I can say um, click here to go to the syllabus, to my syllabus on the web. So I'm just going to highlight click here. 
But what I really need is the URL for my syllabus. Now I've got my syllabus as a Google Doc. To get the URL, I click the share button and then I want to make sure that I've got my access set to anybody with the link can view. And I'm going to copy that link. Now back to my welcome quiz. I'm going to make sure I've got the text highlighted that I want to be that hyperlink. And from here, you've got two choices. You can click on your icon. Actually, I guess you've got three. You can click on your icon and do external URL. You can do insert link external link. Or once you've got this highlighted, let me highlight it again. You can click on there's a keyboard shortcut control K, which is a really great shortcut. So control K, any of those will get you to this pop up and I am ready to put my hyperlink in. I'm just going to control V or you can see it's already saved it there for me and I can put it in the link. You can also change that text and click on done. So many great things that you can do with course links and external links. I'll see you guys next time.